I will tell about the Real Estate Regulation and Development Act 2016. This act came into force from 1st May 16. This act aims to regulate and promote the real estate sector. The main objective of this act are promote the interest of the buyer, single window clearance system, boosting buyer's confidence in the real estate sector, elimination of the cumbersome system, enhance transparency in the real estate sector. This act applies to both commercial and residential properties. Reduce frauds and delay and completion of the projects. First track dispute resolution mechanism to render advice to the government to development of real estate sector. Measure to facilitate digitization of the land records and system towards property title and title guarantees. Now the central government and state government must establish the real estate regulatory authority, in short, authority here, which can hear complaints filed by the guy person for violation of the act by real estate promoter, buyers or real estate agent. It is mandatory to registration all the real estate projects and obtain registration number from the authority before promoting, developing, selling, etc. After registration, promoter will be provided with a login ID and password for access of authority's website. After getting registration number from the authority, promoters will have to create web page on the authority's website and upload the complete details of the project for public view. This is a great news for all the buyers because buyers can check all the details about the project not on promoter's website but on authority's website. Promoters will have to update quarterly about the sales and booking status of the project. Hence, buyer can take better decision before investing. Few states have already published their website. For example, www.riracarela.org Just write Rira official website on Google search. You will get easily. Registration with the authorities must be disclosed as Number one types of the organization like LLP, company, proprietorship, one person company, limited company, private limited company, etc. Details about the promoters with photographs, details about the architect, engineers, auditors, details of the land sanction plan, details of the land, structural design, types of apartments, plots, etc. Last 5 year success story in real estate sector if any. Carpet area. Perform of allotment letters, convenience deed, and agreement to sale. Time taken for completion of the projects. Details of any pending court cases. Affidavit shall be furnished by the promoter before the authority about the title of the land and complete details about the projects. Regulatory authority may grant or reject the application for the registration within 30 days. Every real estate project having a planning area means development area of more than 500 square meter or more than 8 number of apartments must be registered with the real estate authority inclusive of all phases. Real estate project means development of building or a development consisting of apartments converting an existing building or part thereof into apartments such development and conversion is for the purpose of selling and no registration is required if promoters has received the completion certificate for a real estate project before commencement of this act. No registration is required for the purpose of renovation, repair, maintenance which does not involve marketing, selling, advertising or new allotment of any apartment plot or building as the case may be. Carpet area. The developer can sell on carpet area which means net usable floor area of an apartment including internal partition of the walls of the apartment but it excludes the area of baranda, external walls, common space, 
balcony, an exclusive open terrace area. That the 70% amount received from the buyers in a real estate project shall be deposited into separate bank account to cover the cost of the land and project expenses and should be used only for that purpose. Promoters shall withdraw the amount from the separate bank account to cover the expenses of the project. Two, proportion to completion of the project. Amount from the separate bank account can be withdrawn after certification by the engineers, architects, practicing charter accountant, who is member of the ICAI, having certificate of practice, then the withdrawal in proportion to the completion of the project. This discourages the promoters to divert the funds notoriously to another project or somewhere else. It will also prevent delay in completion of the project. Promoters will not accept more than 10% of the cost of the apartment plots or building as deposit or advance or booking money from the customers without such entering a valid legal agreement for sale and register the said document for sale. Promoter shall get his accounts audited from a practicing charter accountant within six months after the close of the financial year, who is called auditor of the company, and shall produce account statement duly signed by the CA during the audit and it shall be verified that amounts collected for the project have been utilized only for that project and withdrawal has been in compliance with the proportion to the completion of the project. Now a new thing, real estate agents will have to register with the authority also. Real estate agents must also register with the authority who intend to sell, purchase of any plot, apartments, building in a registered real estate project. Every real estate agent shall make an application to the authority for registration and get his registration number for the entire state. Every real estate agent shall quote his registration number in every sale facilitated by him. Real estate agents shall not sell or purchase any property which is not registered with the regulatory authority. Real estate agents maintain and preserve the documents, records and books of accounts as prescribed by the authority. The real estate agents shall not make any false commitment not involving unfair trade practices. The advertisement and offer document issued by the promoter shall have to mention the website address of the authority and the registration number. The promoter shall obtain all such insurances including but not limited to the land of the project. Premium shall be paid by the promoters in respect of the insurances and shall pay the same before the transferring of the insurance to the association of the buyers. The promoter shall compensate the buyers if any loss caused to him due to the defective title of the land and claim and compensation shall not be barred in this act by the limitation. The buyer shall be entitled to know the stage-wise progress of the project. The buyer shall be entitled to have the necessary document and plans including that of common areas after handing over the physical position of the plots, apartments, building as the case may be by the promoter. After the establishment of real estate regulatory authority, all applications, complaints or cases will be transferred to the regulatory authority and shall be heard from the state. Such complaints, cases are transferred to the authority. Any aggrieved party may file a complaint to the adjudicating officer for any violation or any contravention of that. Function of the authority shall include such as to register and regulate the real estate project and the real estate agents, single window clearance system for the real estate project, facilitate amicable settlement of any dispute between the buyers and promoter, facilitate digitization of the land records and system towards property title with the title guarantees. Maintain database of the promoter real estate agents with photographs. Under this act, central advisory council to be established to advise the government on major question of policy, protection of consumer interest, foster the growth and development of the real estate sector. The council have representatives of the Ministry of Law, Ministry of Consumer Affairs, 
मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ अर्बन डेवलपमेंट नीति आयोग नेशनल हाउसिंग बैंक मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडस्ट्री एंड कॉमर्स एंड फाइव रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू बी सिलेक्टेड बाई रोटेशन The advisory councils and not consist of more than ten members to represent the interest of the real estate sector. The appropriate government may, if it is deems necessary, establish one or more branches of the appellate tribunal in the state or union territory, as the case may be, to hear the order or decision made by the real estate regulatory authority or by adjudicating officers under this act. Please like and subscribe my video. Thanks.